folks, uh, Kathy Williams DeVries here, uh, bringing you a uh, tutorial video with a slight difference. Um, I'm going to be looking at Scheherazade, the, uh, the clarinet excerpt, uh, the Vivo. So. Um, in addition to the excerpt, I'm actually also going to introduce you to um, a Politech study uh, number three after Rimskos Korsakov Scheherazade, uh, which not only contains the excerpt. <laughs> also explores it in different keys. So if we take um, if we take the actual notes of Scheherazade, I will play it just a little bit slower. Note that I'm actually doing this on B flat. Um, but uh, if you'll take it a little bit slower. for using the left hand pinky keys which usually don't get a huge amount of a workout. So I'll, I'll outline the difficulties in the actual uh, excerpt. I know in the fourth bar of the excerpt you will need to use the left hand C. I mean, I don't have particular trouble with the. So you're using the left hand C sharp there as well. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. Where it becomes difficult is in the second part. Um, and there's some a really nasty passage work. Um, so going from A flat to G to B flat. So that. would go about practicing this excerpt is I would start at 60. That's a pretty good tempo to start at. And then I would gradually increase it. So this is um, 68. Also, um, resist the urge to rush in the third bar because it is easier and the tendency is to rush a little bit. Sorry, I lost concentration there. So then gradually increase it, take it up to uh, 76. And so on. So now that's we've got the um, the excerpt all right. Practice this Polytech study, you will find that it just instantly becomes so much easier. There's so many little different variations on melody. Uh, the beginning of it, uh, the beginning of it, um, it is taken from the latter part of the excerpt, and it's probably the most difficult part because you're going G, A flat, B flat, A flat. 
and again, there are all sorts of interesting things can happen, and I'm hoping that I do some of those things wrong so I can show you um, what can go wrong. See what can happen? If you're not concentrating. Alright, um, so I would actually take it slow. So I would take it back down to 60. This is what I would do. I actually find it easier if you emphasize the first note of each bar and also the A flats. So this second bit, so we've we've identified uh, the first bit, the difficulty in the first bit, which is sort of fiddling around G, A flat, B flat. Now the next bit has you fiddling around with E flats to Fs. <coughs> which is fun. Um, again, cause you're moving, you're moving three fingers at a time, and they're not usually fingers that like to move all that much. So we'll keep it on sixteen. So you've got the difficulty going uh, in this hand, and then it goes to the right hand in the second bit. So if we take the first two phrases. Now, this next bit, let me just pick it out. This next bit comes from um, the middle of the excerpt, except instead of starting on a D, we're starting on a C. And then once we've done with the C, we then start on an E flat. So we're not quite doing it yet uh, that does come later in the study and again you've got a lot of finger pinky work I'll just keep the metronome slow so you can see what I'm doing so again you know it's a lot of pinky work just watch my pinkies again Now this next one is an E starts on an E flat, and um, as well as this sort of pinky work, you've got that nasty A to uh, A flat to B flat staff. Um, so. so again, you've got stuff with the right hand and stuff with the left hand. As well as a few um, accidentals to worry about. Okay, now we're back to the first part of it again, except uh, we're starting on an A flat. And this is this is the cruncher, because there's no respite. work I'm doing around this which is a usually a fairly shaky part of the clarinet so nasty isn't it the next bit's a little bit easier <coughs> starting on an F although you still got a little bit of A flat coming in there Now, here is 
where we first come to the theme as it is actually written in the clarinet part, starting on the D. So, which you'll probably find quite easy around this stage. You get a little bit of pinky work, but... So that's the exact quote. Um, then we go back to that uh, second uh, lot of um, uh, where it now starts on a B rather than the D. And again, there's a lot of pinky work. You're going to need to work out which pinky goes where um, and which finger you're going to use. all sorts of pinky work. There, uh, we come back to the first we then come to an inversion of the theme and you're using a lot of this E flat to F to D stuff And this is just um, sort of variations and a lot of pinky work. You will need to change C's there. Just watch me do that again. So the second C will have to be left hand. And again, you got the um, A flats and stuff. And then it goes on. And then that second part of the theme. So, this is a great study. It's number three of the advanced studies for clarinet. Uh, by Polacek. This one is number three, which was specifically written after uh, Scheherazade. Let me just take it up to a slightly higher tempo. Um, like 80 is fairly. So I'll play you the excerpt and then I'll play you the study. the excerpt. Now I'll play you the study. but I think you'll find if you put the excerpt with the study you'll just find uh, playing the study a little bit easier. So I hope that's helped you. Thanks for listening and bye for now.